what should I include in arc flash training? When you talk about arc flash training, again, OSHA doesn't get into a lot of specifics of what exactly you have to have in the training. OSHA is pretty loose and basically it boils down to if you have people that are getting into live cabinets or doing lockout tagout, they have to be trained to know how do I determine nominal voltage, how do I know if something's live, and what do I have to do if I'm going to be around this live energy, what PPE do I have to wear. NFPA 70E takes it to the next step and they go over a whole bunch more stuff, but again, it still really boils down to what are my approach boundaries, how close can I be, how far away do I need to keep other people so that they're safe, what PPE do I need to wear, what needs to be on that label, understand what's on that label, because that's really the most important part. Again, if you walk up to an ArcFlash label and you don't know how to read it, what good is that label? So get trained on the label, the approach boundaries, keep yourself safe, what PPE to wear, how to identify live stuff, how do I do multimeter testing and different things like that? That's really what it boils down to.